what's up i'm troubleshoot welcome back to another video in this video i'll be showing you an incredibly useful tool for premiere pro if you're someone who edits long form content or you just want to skip all of the silences in whatever you're editing because i record and make lots of mistakes take time thinking before i say things editing often comes down to most of it being just removing the silences from my video so there's tons of jump cuts but usually they're mostly unnoticeable it keeps things short succinct and good having to make thousands of cuts is very annoying pulling up premiere you'll see there's tons of cuts that go into a six or five minute video if i open up a new one to be edited you'll see that most of it is pretty much just blank space now usually i'd have to go through find these spots cut and ripple edit to get rid of these it's not too long but of course this does take tons of time especially when this can be automated now previously i've showcased an extension called auto cut it's a paid extension that basically runs through your timeline deleting these empty spaces based on the settings you give it you tell it how much padding to have on each side of the empty space and speaking and it'll run through shorten all of the silent sections now of course this has been working really good for me i'm especially thankful to auto cut who gave me a key to try this out in return i featured it in a video and since then i've been using it it's been working great but now for some reason sometimes it just infinitely loads sometimes it doesn't do anything at all like usually clicking a clip it should let you punch in some options but for me there's nothing i suppose that's just an issue with needing an internet connection and drm but Anyways, that aside, there are other plugins that let you do this. For example, there's a plugin called Silence Remover, which is practically almost exactly the same. You punch in a noise level to define silence, minimum time, how long to pad on either side of the silence or speaking. And from there, you tell it to run through your clip and shorten the silences. But for me, this doesn't work at all, or at least sometimes it doesn't. It's unreliable in my case, but it may work for you. It may not. Either way, most of these require you to do something like select an audio file and drag it in or moving the playhead, making cuts and then rippling everything back. It can take quite a bit of time, but I've come across a completely free open source bit of software that does all of this and more. In fact, it's even a lot faster. Being completely free, it blows all of these out of the water as you can download it and do exactly this now. In the description below, you'll find a link to Auto Editor by Wired Bloom. Scrolling down on the page here, you'll see it's a third party program. It's not an extension for Premiere. And in fact, it's not specifically designed for Premiere either. You install it with Python, then you run a command on a MP4 or any kind of video file and tell it how much to pad on each side of the silence when it gets shortened. Instead of cutting the silence completely, you can speed up through it using silent speed and set it to maybe 10x whenever you're quiet. That way, when you're speaking, it's 1x normal speed. When you're quiet, it's 10x. You don't have to delete silence outright. And of course, here's what I was looking for, export Premiere. You can also export to Final Cut Pro and Shortcut, which is great. Apparently, Sony Vegas can understand the Premiere format, and you can use Hive Knife and Export Clip Sequence, which will create many video clips that can be imported and manipulated like normal, which is great. So this is for non-destructive shortening, but of course, we don't need to export it to Premiere or anything like that. We can instead just export it as a normal video. Scrolling down further, we can instead just export it like a normal video. So it'll remove the silences, pump out another MP4, and hey, there you go. You don't even need to open up editing software. It is auto editor after all. Anyways, I'll be using it for Premiere Pro. It's great. Sadly, it's not an extension, but it's a lot better than having to jump between Adobe Audition and jumping back and forth exporting. It's really easy to get started. Obviously, you'll just need Python installed and you can see the installation tab here for more info. So all we need to do is download and install Python 3. You'll find a link for this in the description down below. Click download Python here. Open it up when it is done, run and click through the installer as usual. However, on the first page, you'll see at the very bottom, add Python to path. Make sure that this is ticked. I don't have it here as I'm upgrading or reinstalling it. You'll need to make sure that add Python to path is ticked for this to work properly. If you forget it, uninstall it and reinstall it. Otherwise, add it to your path manually. I won't get into that here though. When it's done installing, you can open up a new command prompt using start and R, then typing in CMD here and hitting enter. For some people, you'll need to run Python as an admin for things to install properly. So if you get any red errors in your console here, 
Simply search for Terminal or CMD on your Start menu and run it as Administrator from here. Anyways, PowerShell command prompt, whenever it is, when it's open, type Python space hyphen capital V and you should see a Python version return to you. In my case, it's 3.9 as I have multiple installed just because I'm a programmer. From here, we'll be running these commands. pip install hyphen hyphen upgrade pip. So paste and enter. I'm pasting with right click. Control V should work as well, though it doesn't always. Then when pip's updated, which is the package manager, we can copy pip install auto hyphen editor. Once again, right click to paste, enter, it'll install. When it's done, all we need to do is remember auto hyphen editor. And if we need help, auto hyphen editor space hyphen hyphen help. So pasting it in, hitting enter, you'll see all of these commands returned back to you, which is great reference if you want to know what's going on. Scrolling down further, we get some examples of how to use it, how to upgrade it later on, and how to uninstall it. Now that it's done installing, how do we use it? Well, we'll be using this simple command here. I'll open up a new folder here in my downloads. I'll copy and paste in a video, and at the very top here, I'll click anywhere in an empty space and type in CMD, then hit enter to open a command prompt window in this folder. As you can see, C uses techno downloads new folder too. You can change directories by typing CD space and inside of quotation marks, the directories path. As such, if it's on a different drive, you'll need to type in the drive letter and a colon. Anyways, typing CMD up here should skip this step entirely. Now that we're in the correct folder, how do we use it? Well, auto hyphen editor space and very simply just the name of the file. We can hit tab because we're in this folder to get some file name suggestions. You can also partially type a name, say PI tab, and it'll type in the rest of the name for me. Assuming there's more similarly named files, we can hit tab to change between them until we eventually get what we want. If we hit enter, it should start processing this video here. It extracts the audio, gets some information about audio volume, looks for silences, and then shortly after will spit out a brand new video. However, I'm not looking for an edited video with all of the silences removed. That's a destructive way of editing. Instead, I'll need to have it in a non-destructive format so I can later add back silence and missed parts of the video if necessary. How do we do this? Well, space hyphen hyphen export and premiere. If we hit enter, it'll run through, once again process it, but instead of editing and outputting a video file, it'll instead just finish, allowing us to type again, and in our folder here, we'll find an XML file. With this XML file, all we need to do is drag and drop it into Premiere Pro. So I've got my sequence over here, Pi share to Windows. I'll just drag the XML file in to the same bin over here. And when we do so, you'll see a new video file arrives and a new sequence. The sequence is named Auto Editor Video Group. Just remember to rename this later on or now even just to not confuse yourself. If you get a notification like this about missing media, click Locate and navigate to where your video is located. Click it and select. Once Premiere realizes the video file exists, we can open the sequence and just like that, all of our cuts are made. There's thousands of them here, which is great. It's removed practically all of the silences and left almost nothing. If I play this through, it may be a bit too jumpy for you and you may want more silence between sentences of me speaking, etc. So let's make it less jumpy. I'll enter the same command, though this time with hyphen hyphen margin space followed by say 0.2 SEC for 0.2 seconds as the silence. Instead, I'll make it two seconds just to make things more noticeable. This will result in far fewer cuts, so do just keep that in mind. If silence lasts shorter than two seconds, it won't be chomped at at all. There we go. I'll drag this XML file back in, remind Premiere where the video file is, and now you'll see far fewer cuts. When we zoom into a cut, you'll see there's some extra space on either side for breathing room. Of course, two seconds is very long and very awkward for silence, so this is probably something you'll want to trim down and fine tune more for your style. But what exactly do I mean by non-destructive? Well, if I zoom in on a part of the clip here, I can shuffle everything to the right and expand this clip here, for example. If this was a clip that was rendered out and set in stone, I wouldn't be able to expand this out and only be able to shorten it, which really limits your creativity and control over your clips. 
So having a non-destructive edit is absolutely crucial if you're going to use software like this. It's great that this has that feature built in by default, and it's even better that it's completely free and really fast. It actually beats out some of the paid plugins, assuming you're fine using the terminal. Now, if you're like me and you're a massive nerd, you can add this to your existing scripts to process your audio and whatever. And when it's done, it'll run through here just to chop it all up for you. So you can drag the XML file into Premiere instead of having to drag the MOV file in, for example. Once again, we can export to Final Cut, Shortcut, and other video editors, so do just keep that in mind. And there is tons more to control. Once again, hyphen hyphen help will let you know the rest of the commands, though. To keep this video nice and short, that's where I'll be leaving it. That has been Auto Edit. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot. Hopefully you found this video useful, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!